Welcome to my channel. My name is Marlies and I'm going to take you on my journey on how to make uh, a vignette display panel in Christmas style. This project was made for the Tim Holtz Ideology Christmas release 2021. I started with a layer of paint. Uh, I chose some green and later on you will also see me putting on some red orange color to stay in the Christmas colors. I am applying it in uh, such a manner that it's not too neat, uh, just using uh, the cap of the bottle, of the paint bottle, and my fingers, and in this case, a piece of baby wipe. And I started with the painting so I can put the panel to the side so it can dry. I am working on a background right here. I am making a like a patchwork um, using the backdrops and the worn wallpaper uh, scraps and the awesome uh, I think, yeah, they are called the collage tiles and just combine them all together and work from the bigger pieces uh, to some smaller pieces. Do not forget to roughen up your edges and ink them with a brown color, in this case archival ink coffee. Behind the scenes I did some stitching uh, on the edges and later on I also did some crisscross stitches um, also in the middle of the patchwork panel. I am creating a large tag that will be uh, a flap that you can open and I want it to be decorated on both sides and I am doing that with a layer of collage medium with the backdrops. I saw there was uh, something that looked like a front door and I thought it was cute uh, to cut out uh, the windows and make it a little bit like a decorated Christmas home. And I really love it uh, because it's in an uh, architectural style.
So I found a way to decorate the large tag. I used the family in the middle. Um, it's like they are representing their uh, home, their house in Christmas style with their three little girls. And I put some flowers around them and a chip quote. Um, and also above, uh, I thought there was a little bit too uh, much brown of the of the background and I wanted to decorate it uh, decorate that too I love the grid paste snowfall. Uh, it really gives a wintry uh, feel to your work. Nice dynamic. Um, right now I am adding it on the top of this, um, this piece of uh, paper. And I am also going to put it on the top of the tag. And like where you know snow is going to be uh, uh, staying, uh, like inside of the windows, those edges. You can really see very well that when you put an extra layer uh, on top of the backdrop, uh, it gives more color. Uh, otherwise, the background would be mostly like brownish. And yeah, I, I missed some colors. So that is why I am putting in some extra greens and red. I'm also adding the snowfall onto the chip uh, chip quote quote chip is from the baseboards from Christmas and it will be perfect because snow will stay there. So also in this little family, I wanted some extra colors. I am using the embossing pen to. Um, yeah, make their, uh, I'm going to color their bows, the bows of the girls. And I use the rustic wilderness to stay in the Christmas colors. I th uh, still thought that the background needed some more attention, some more colors. It was a bit too plain for me. So I uh, got out my Distress, distress Ink uh, in a green color, the peeled paint, and also later on a red color. Um, yeah, just to give it uh, an extra, um, yeah, some extra color. I am using a water brush and don't, do not uh, use too much water. I uh, put a drop on my craft sheet 
and just only put the tip of the water brush in there and in the ink uh, because otherwise you will put way too much water on your paper. So also adding an extra pop of red and I really like the effect of it. And as you can see, you don't have to color the whole background, but, but just uh, choose some very specific elements that uh, will uh, catch your eye. I really love the effect of the distress inks and a little bit of water. It's like a watercolor uh, painting that you are making. So here is the audio device, recording device. Um, I had to make a hiding spot for that. The baseboard frame was perfect. It almost fitted uh, in one try. Just uh, adjust your frame so it's, uh, yeah, it's more a fit. And that is what I am doing right here. I made the choice to put the audio recording device into the frame so it is held tight and it also has some protection um, like falling out or uh, being damaged, that kind of stuff. I am creating a background, gluing it on because it's way easier if your background, uh, the back of this panel is closed, so you can glue it down just in one try. I made a kind of like a in slide of to, to slide a, a sleeve uh, from paper. Uh, so I can hide the device and it is like making or folding a little box.
So I don't just want to glue the package down, I want to see something on the sides like it is also decorated and a nice way and perfect size fit for this I used the Tim Holtz ticket book for that. So I'm going to glue the two pieces together, the front of the extra large tag and right now the back of the extra large tag. Uh, the front will uh, hold the architectural uh, um, setting and the back will be the place for the audio recording device. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in part two.